two. Welcome back, Homestead Homies. Did you miss us? I missed you. <laughs> oh my gosh, we have been. I've been. Look, I'm the primary social media guy. <laughs> I'm, I, take care of the, I take care of the filming, I take care of the editing, I take care of everything. Stacy comes up with some great topics and then we just kind of work it all together. But I've been busy trying to get these projects going and I haven't had time to drag the camera around. So. And it's 150 degrees and your fat face is sweating off, so it's, it's kind of hot. It got a little rough. It's yeah. uh, June and we have August weather right now, so we've been in the upper 90s, a lot of humidity. Let me get a little room here. A lot of humidity and uh, you know at night it's only been getting like 72 73 degrees um, and now we had last night was beautiful it was like we have one degrees. night yeah one night it yeah. helps get, get to keep going charges you back up animals yeah. like it everyone likes it but then it's gonna get to be a hundred yeah it's gonna get upper 90s later this week and the lows like 72 to 75 <coughs> So we've been battling that, plus uh, trying to pace yourselves, guys. If you live in a hot climate where it gets really humid, you know, get out there in the morning, get your work done, take a little bit of a rest during the afternoon, and then go back out in and the evening. And drink some Haymaker's Punch. Oh, we'll link that above. Great. great. Doug loves it. Sure, love it. Love it. I made a really good one with strawberries, because yeah. it's strawberry season now, so I put some fresh strawberries in it and let it set overnight and it was, really, it was really, good. really good so try that if you guys are doing the other one already yeah so i've made a lot of progress on the deck in the back of the house um, i'm just about ready to put the railings on and the stairs i built a platform um, and the stairs going down on one side also we have did a little dirt work around the house because uh you know we're gonna have to make sure that the water drains good away from the house but is not going to get into the root cellar which is going to be on that side of the house so I've been doing a little dirt work there. I got the water tanks covered up. If you guys uh, didn't see the video right there about the off-grid outdoor shower, I got the water tanks covered up, which is really not that big of a deal, but at least I could claim I did something. <laughs> and we have a hook for a towel. Yeah. And yeah. it's been really crazy just to say, hey, let's just go take a shower because yeah. it's weird, really weird. And no, I know you're sitting there thinking, well, did you put a door out I don't have yet? a door. I take a shower at night <laughs> when it's dark. <laughs> So what about the people with infrared? <laughs> so I'm going to put that on in a second. Uh, I'll get that going here. Uh, but I also put on the back door. We have a screen door that we have for the back of the house. And I got that screen door put on after she's been giving me the business about it. And Cause I like that crossbreed. Yeah. So we finally got yeah. that put up. So we've been, you know, I've been tackling some things around here. I'm working on a little bit of landscaping uh, from the middle part of the house in between the outdoor kitchen and the cabin that's going to go up to the garden area and so i'm going to get that tightened up and in july we already have a date for the excavator to come out uh, for july 2nd and start digging the hole for the root cellar guys Yay. if you are not subscribed to our channel you want to hit the subscribe button hit the bell for notifications that video series is going to be oh my gosh nugget overload i keep telling you guys uh, so stay tuned for that it's coming up july 2nd we have a start on it so the videos might run a day or two behind but start you know the first part of july by the uh, middle part of July, the whole project will be done, and then I'll build the learning center right on top of it, which will also be a, a sh uh, we have some more announcements too. I just can't fit it all in one video, because we actually have a topic we're gonna talk about. Yeah, uh, we're gonna talk video. about a topic. Yeah, so but I'm just giving you guys a little rundown. We've been away from the YouTube for a second, uh, just because we've been busy and we miss you guys. And don't forget, we're gonna be at Layman's the 29th and 30th, that's in Kidron, Ohio, a little meet and greet and some fun activities. And then in August, we're going to be at the 12th and 13th. Hannibal, Missouri, the Home Setting Life Conference. Yes, get your tickets. We're selling quite a few tickets and we only have a limited amount of seats. So get your tickets and make your reservations while you still can, while there's still room and all that stuff. We're gonna have, just so you guys know, we're gonna have hands-on classes. Like there's gonna be someone there like telling you about soap. Like she has these ancient recipes and these ways to make soap and they are good for you, you know. She's gonna to explain to you everything like natural soap and she's and a, like a, she's been doing big it for time, a long time. Big time. Yeah, yeah, long time. She's been here. And she's coming like all the way from Wyoming. I mean, she's coming to teach you guys to make soaps and how to make the healthiest, easiest, best soaps. Then we have like a fermenting class where we're gonna do some ferments hands on. You're gonna be right there, able to ask and we're questions. We're just gonna do, I mean, lots of hands on things. Cause that's yeah. the thing, a lot of times you can go and you can listen to someone talk, yeah. but 
beautiful if you see them doing it so we're going to have things kombucha like tinctures and yeah. just, just talking and just doing like hands-on everything yeah maybe you know making shrubs and doing yeah. just everything Terry's going to be making thing. elderberry I mean, juice lots and lots and lots of stuff tons of stuff so i'm just saying if you, if you if you can block off some time to come to a conference and you live around the sourdough Midwest, bread too sourdough, sourdough bread. bread yeah the aldermans are coming and she's gonna bring her sourdough bread stuff she's gonna make it right there and the sun oven what can and you do the in sun the sun oven, oven. yeah we'll make it be in there. there we're actually gonna make the sourdough in the sun oven so that's gonna be kind of cool um, just so much stuff going on guys and then also after that we're gonna be in Santa Rosa California for the heirloom Expo and then the grand finale of 2018 we're going to be at the Homesteaders of America Conference in Virginia, and all these links are down below. Make sure you get your tickets for the one in Virginia. It's a much bigger event than the one Stacy and I are hosting in Hannibal. Tons of great speakers. Justin Rhodes will be there, Joe Salatin, ourselves, Stacy Lynn Harris, who is an author and cooking um, extraordinaire, uh, and stuff like that. Um, just a lot of great speakers, a lot of great stuff, a lot of uh, uh, booths and stuff you guys can check out for homesteading. So just make sure you guys are checking out our links and maybe you can meet up with us in one of these spots. Uh, but those are the last couple of events for the year. And it is. So now we're going to talk about your gut and the flora. Really? Don't hit the flora, but we're going to tell you guys about a study that has recently came out and um, it's going to compare city dwelling people versus urban dwelling or rural people it rural is the first of it, it's the first study of its kind I was reading about it in popular science yeah. it's the first study where they compared your urban versus city dwellers within the same geographical area and this is a recent study and you know you hear a lot about your microbiome and basically we are just a bunch of bacteria vi viruses and fungus <laughs> just basically what it is i mean there's trillions of them just all over and a lot of them are in your you're in your gut you got them on your skin too you got them you know everywhere and did you guys know that you have more bacteria in your body than you do like regular human cells so basically we're just like a bunch of bacteria so when that bacteria and all that you know it gets altered and it's not at a good ratio and you don't have a good diverse amount of the bacteria in you then things happen. It causes sickness. You guys have heard sickness us say it disease. over and over and over. That's why we ferment our foods. That's why we drink the kombucha. That's why we eat from our garden. You guys want to have the healthy gut. A healthy gut is where all your health comes from. That's why our shirt says, get closer to your food and let food be your medicine. Links are down below. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good job. But yeah, it, it, it's it's truly important to kind of get that diversity. And so the study was pretty neat because they compared the two, and the city dwellers ate more processed food, yep. you know, westernized type food. They took antibiotics, and they had city water, and those were like the three. Then the people who are urban are like the farmers. They had they grew their own food. They drank water from the river, and they didn't have antibiotics, and they just basically ate what they produced. Right. And they fished, they ate fish. They were more vegetarians. They ate meat, but not as much meat. Right. And if they ate meat, then, you know, it's kind of like uh, biblical times, guys. Like, so people eat meat now, like, every single day, and it's, it, it's a lot different. So back in the day, when you eat meat, it was like a big occasion. So you would have a festival, like if you read the Bible that talks about the festivals. That's when people would get together and they would actually eat meat. Outside of that, people were more vegetarian leaning. So they would eat a lot more of the grains and the fruits and the vegetables that they grew themselves. And the key to this and to your um, microbiome is, is fiber. You need good fiber. And I, we did a video on prebiotics, but prebiotic foods are, you, you know, like your oats and apples and asparagus. I mean, foods like this are, you know, important. Lance quarter stocks. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah. Did, we did a video on that too. And it's just important to get these into the diet because they help the fiber rich food to kind of help, you know, helping with digestion too. Um, and another big one was the breastfeeding. So breastfeeding, as long as you can, six months is, is wonderful or longer if you can. And these things all kind of help determine it. And they showed in this study that the farmers or your um, urban type 
dwellers. And this was, we didn't say, this was a study done in Nigeria. But well, like I was saying earlier, it's good because it was more in a localized area. It was in the same ge geographical area. So they found that these people that were the farmers had a much more diverse microbiome. So diversity is the key on this one, just to have, you know, lots of different kinds. And I have talked about this before on the channel, but you know, a lot of people, you know, and everyone says, oh, take probiotics. It's good. You know, you want those fermented foods. Well, people will go and buy your probiotics and you keep taking the same probiotic right. all the time. And it's the same bacteria right. all the time. It's just like anything guys. If you take, um, uh, you know, um, if you have to go get, uh, it, um, um, Spit it out. No, when everybody goes to the doctor for like candy, right? Antibiotics? Antibiotics. When you take them the same strand over and over and over, your body builds an immune against that antibiotic. That's why it doesn't work and then you get, still get sicker and sicker. And then the doctor says, oh, well, let's switch the antibiotic and then they give you a different one. And then it tears down everything else right. inside of you. But yeah. that's another story. Yes, it is. So when you are... Don't do it. What, don't do what? Don't lose your train of thought. You see, you messed me up. <laughs> oh, they're going to be mad at me. <laughs> so we're talking about having the same probiotics all the time. So when you are taking your probiotics, if you are going to be taking them, you need to change them up right. too. And the other thing is, is I'm talking about diversity. In your diet, diversity is very important in how you eat. Everyone eats the same thing all the yeah. time. You don't want to keep eating the same foods, you know, getting the same thing from that food. You want a diverse diet. You don't want to eat the same thing for breakfast, the same thing for lunch, the same thing for dinner. You want to change it up. You know, one day eat something, next day eat something else, change it up. That's why it's so important that we eat in season because right. the thing is, is whatever's in season, strawberries are in season now. So that's going to be the food of choice. I can see our blackberries, blackberries. are getting ready to pop. Are pop. So that's going to be happening in the blueberries. So I'm going to go and do what's coming in season. Then in September or so, you know, our apples, apples are going to be coming in season. So, you know, that's what's going to be happening right now. We're eating tons and tons of broccoli yeah. <laughs> because broccoli's in season. Right. So you kind of want to stay with that and, and, and eat that diverse type food and try not to eat the same thing. So they're, they're, they were noticing then in the, the city dwellers that their immune systems weren't quite as well. They even found and studied children. And in children, when they're born, and especially, and they're even finding now when children are coming through the birth canal, you know, you're getting inundated with all of these bacteria and things to help them with their immune system. Well, their microbiomes, they were finding how in these children, or the children that were from the farmers, or the urban people, that they were finding that diversity and everything was starting just at a few months old. And then the city dweller children, that the microbiome and the diversity and all that was starting at three years of age. So that's a huge difference in the children too. And from there, you know, having stronger immune systems, just being overall healthy, not getting sick, so this was a, as a really cool study because um, I guess it's the first of its kind to show the difference in the farmers or the urban dwellers versus the city dwellers. So if you are in the city, you know, and you're drinking city water, chlorinated water, and you're not filtering it, you know, filtering it would be what you want to, what definitely want to do. Trying not to do antibiotics, you know, trying to do eating good foods, getting probiotic rich type foods, like fermenting your foods, you know, vegetables or, you know, making drinks out of it. And we've done tons of videos right. on that too. But you can find, you know, lots of recipes all over the place on that and eating high fiber foods and then just trying to, you know, get out in the sun. These things are just really, really, really important. Getting out in nature. So like if you are in the city, Try to live like the urban people live. Yeah, because we understand like everybody, all you guys watching and everyone out there just can't pick up and go to and, live in the country. Right. So do what you can where you are. That's one of the main things that we say all the time here. So like buy at the farmer's market, That get get your food more local. Uh, the big box stores, if you're buying your food there and your vegetables, I mean, they're trucking that stuff all around the 
country and in some cases the globe. So try to find where your local farmer's market is or get online and find like a CSA uh, community supported agriculture center that actually boxes up and ships some of your produce. So then that way you might not be able to go to farmer's markets, but you could have it delivered right to your door. And you know what, if you guys are like, I don't know where there's any CSAs, go to your local YMCA because a lot of what my um, YMCAs even have the little areas where you can have a little garden there yeah. and they, they're doing that. And then also they do have the CSAs through a lot of yeah. those places Just or Google recreational it. centers. Yeah, Google yeah. will tell you where they're at too. So, all right. So what else about the study? Well, I mean, it, it was just pretty straightforward, just basically showing that people living in the cities, microbiomes were not as diverse as ones living in the country, eating the foods that they produce, drinking, you know, more pure water and not taking antibiotics. So yeah. that's kind of how, it, what it was. And that children at a younger age, just in a few months, were having a much more diverse microbiome compared to the ones that are in the city. Yeah. So, uh, it and was I think too neat. that um, with this, if you just look at the population of sickness, it always is concentrated around the city. And then also, if you look to longevity, right? Now, like if you follow people that are like 100, 110, 115 years old, a lot of those people, I would say the vast majority of them, have backyard gardens and they eat the produce that they grow. And they're, you know, the chemicals are not. They're out the in produce, the sun. They're out in the sun. They're out in the dirt. Right. They're with nature. I mean, all these little things are very. When we talk about being holistic, you you do, you don't want to be disconnected from nature. You don't want to be disconnected with, you know, listening to the wind, having the sun on your skin. I mean, all these things are very healing. Being barefoot on the grass, especially right. with the dew and the water, walking in the sand, growing your food. If you can't grow it, get it from CSAs or farmers market. And just and doing these things are going to help the diversity of your microbiome, getting the fermented foods. Oh my yeah, gosh, this is it. so good. And it's not hard. 17 minutes of nuggets. It's, it's, it's not hard to do. It's something where everybody can start. Yeah. And then there were even I, in studies when you look at your microbiome that um, people that have, they, like with twins, you have a twin, maybe one twin is overweight and the other twin is not overweight. Even the, the twin that wasn't overweight, their microbiome and the diversity on that was better than the one that was overweight. Yeah, because that one that wasn't overweight was the first one out and sucked up all the good microbiomes. <laughs> so just trying to get the gut healthy, getting out there, yeah. getting movement, getting sunshine, eating the fermented foods. You know, just trying to, to be getting that diverse, not eating the same foods all the time. So just try doing a few simple things like this. And one little simple thing will lead to another simple thing. And eventually you can get your health to where you want it to be because right. your body wants to stay healthy. And it does. Healthy. And it, it does can not want itself. to be sick. Yeah. So here's the challenge. You're going to either start drinking a fermented drink daily, or you're going to eat a fermented food daily, or you're going to find a local CSA if you can't grow your food. And I want you to leave down in the comments which one of these things are you going to start with first. So leave your comment down below. As always, you can check us out. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Hopefully we'll see you at one of our events. And if you got any questions, leave them down below. We'll be touching base with you guys again real short, and then we'll give our videos back to our daily uh, scheduled programming. So thanks a lot for hanging in there. We appreciate you guys, and we'll see you on the next video. See ya. Hey guys, thanks for watching our video. You might want to check out these videos. And if you want to become a Homestead Homie, click the picture of us below. We, we will see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow.